Matter is something that has mass and takes up space. Most matter is made of atoms or other small particles. In this video, we're going to be talking about the different states of matter and the changing between the states. Hope you enjoy the video and learn something new. The three states of matter that we regularly interact with are solids, liquids, and gases, like the air. There are also other states such as plasma, but we won't be covering those in this video. Now let's try and imagine the states in terms of particles. The particles in a solid have a regular unchanging arrangement. Even though they don't move, they do still vibrate because they contain a reasonable amount of energy. That being said, they have the lowest energy of all three states. The particles in a liquid have an irregular changing arrangement, allowing the liquids to change their shape to fit their container. The particles have enough energy to move around each other, but not enough energy to separate properly. Gas particles move separately and rapidly, often colliding into each other, as they have the most energy of all three states. They will expand to take up the space in a container, replacing a vacuum. Now here you can see the different states of matter in diagrams. As you can see, the solid regularly arranged all the particles are touching, the liquid all touching, not so regularly arranged. The gas expands to fill the container and most of the particles aren't touching. When certain substances gain or lose a specific amount of energy, they have the ability to change state. First we'll be showing you solids, to and from liquids. Melting is when a solid changes to a liquid. The common example is when ice changes to water. Ice turns to water when it has a sufficient amount of energy to do so. This naturally occurs at the melting point of zero degrees Celsius. Freezing is when a liquid turns into a solid. The water loses energy and turns back into ice. The water transfers energy to the surroundings, in this case being the freezer. That's for solids and liquids. But what about liquids and gases? Evaporation is when a liquid changes into a gas. The energy from the kettle is transferred to the water, so the water turns into water vapour. This occurs at the boiling point of water, which is 100 degrees Celsius. Steam is a mixture of water vapour and water droplets, which is why it is visible. Clouds and fog are also made up of water droplets. Condensation is when a gas changes to a liquid. Here, energy is transferred from the water vapour to my glasses. So now we've done solids and liquids and liquids and gases. But what about the other changes of state? Sublimation is the process of a solid becoming a gas without going through the liquid phase. An example you may have seen is dry ice, which is solid carbon dioxide. Another example is iodine. Iodine is a grey solid which sublimes at high temperatures, becoming a purple vapour. We're now heating a sample to show you sublimation in action. The opposite of sublimation is deposition. Common examples include frost or snow, which are water vapour that has become solids without going through the liquid phase. We're going to cool some iodine vapour on the bottom of this watch glass to see it deposit. The grey soot mark is actually the solid iodine depositing on the watch glass after transferring its energy to the ice, making it melt. It's pretty cool, right? Here's a reminder of what it looked like before it was heated, next to the after. Now that's all the states of matter and the changing between them. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And remember to stay sanity.